Well, as you may be able to tell, I copped out. I was not feeling great. I was, I got really hot in my van this morning and I couldn't get the campground that I wanted. And I've got friends that are in town, Kelowna, and I decided that I was gonna get a hotel for two nights. So guess what? I have internet, so as you can see, I can watch all the YouTube I want. Oops, Starbucks next door as well. A bed. I haven't slept on a bed for a long time. And since I can't roll at the same time as videotaping, I'm gonna put this down for a minute and show you what else I have. A sink. And as you might be able to tell, I need a shower. So, a bathtub. And look what comes with the bathtub. Oops, still trying to roll and video at the same time. Rubber ducky, free to a good home, it says on the desk. And a toilet. Wow. Forgot to mention, I don't have it plugged in yet, but I can charge my Jackery. My Jackery, I was having a hard time keeping it full. I do have one problem and that is my fridge is still in the van so I'm probably going to charge my Jackery tonight and then go plug the fridge in all day tomorrow and then charge it again tonight, tomorrow night, because I'm here for two nights and then hopefully I will start off with 100% battery. I'll have all my devices all charged by then as well. <sighs> oh, and a microwave. <laughs> Another question for van lifers, or a question for other van lifers, if you ever stay in a hotel, you don't have a suitcase. So I brought everything in in my green bin, and in all, I took out a drawer from my odds and ends little cupboard. You can see it over there. And I just carried everything in by hand. The computer came in by hand. I had a guy help me because the ramp was terrible getting into here. Almost forgot in that last clip, when you bring everything into your hotel room, don't forget the water jugs because it's free water out of the tap if you can get the thing under the tap. I guess the bathtub will work too. Anyways, just another exciting thing about being in a hotel room. I'm not going to say what hotel I'm at because this is a common problem at any hotel I've ever stayed at and that is that when you check into the room, this handheld shower unit is up there and I can't reach it. So I have to get somebody to come and it actually took full 30 minutes for them to come this time. They actually didn't come. I had to go out and chase somebody down. There is the little knot, um, thing hook for it to be put lower, but they never leave it there. It's always possible for somebody who can stand up to put it back up if they want it there, but it's not possible or at least not easy for somebody who's in a wheelchair to be able to put that down. So it's something that hotels should be thinking about and I know they've been told because I've heard it from multiple other people in chairs as well. And then here's the other thing. If you're using the bench that they leave in the room, which they did like a shower bench, which is really great, but I want to get down into the tub, um, there's no way I can reach the soap and shampoo and everything. So I asked them to bring me some soap and they couldn't find any. So uh, anyways, just some of the access problems that it would be really nice if there was something standard for all hotels to follow that uh, would make it easier. I gotta say that there's one really big benefit to having a YouTube channel and that is being able to say stuff about the things that I just mentioned about the shower nozzle and um, the soap dispenser and everything. It's nice to be able to vent that <laughs> somewhere where people will actually see it. And the more people that see it, maybe the more chance there is that um, things will change. <laughs> it's been a full eight weeks since I slept in a bed. Yay. It's nighttime now. I'm still in my hotel. Can't stop thinking about my poor little van out there. It's the first night I haven't spent in it in two months, and I'm kind of worried about her. <laughs> I had a shower. 
It was so great. I'm so happy to be in this hotel room for a little bit because this is the first really good shower that I've had since uh, I left my home. Shower with an actual handheld shower. Um, shower that's not on a precarious bench where I feel like I'm gonna fall off all the time. It was just an amazing shower. I'm so happy. Okay, one bit to add about the shower, and that is that uh, it's to do with access again. Um, I was in the shower, and it was a good thing that I had the water pointing at a part of the body that I can feel. I can't feel my legs. I have no sensation in my legs. So I had the shower water pointed at the upper part of my body, and somebody else turned on water in some other room, and I got a total blast of hot water, which I was able to direct away really quickly. But if that had been with the shower nozzle sitting in the bottom of the tub pointing at my feet, um, there's a possibility of a really good burn. And so it's probably a really good idea to ask when you check into a hotel whether the shower is temperature regulated. And if it's not or they don't know, really pay attention to that because you can really get hurt bad. Uh, that was scary. <laughs> One other point that I want to make because I'm being such an access advocate in this hotel room is that it's really important if you have a disability, no matter what the disability, because everybody's disabilities are different and your needs are different. If you're finding that you're staying in a hotel room, especially one that's particularly marked for uh, access, uh, disability access, and it's not what you need, you need to make notes and send that uh, back into the office. Usually there's a, um, what do you call it, a response card somewhere in the room that you can fill out. And so I filled that out and turned it over and filled it out on detail on the back. But you really need to do that because if they only hear it from one person ever in this room, then I think they probably just ignore it. But if everybody that's having a problem um, you know, some of the issues are consistent among disabilities and it might be one thing that they can fix that makes a big difference to a whole bunch of people. So if they're hearing the same thing over and over again, they might be more motivated to change it. So just my little plug for trying to make the world a better place for people with disabilities. <laughs>